Hey friends, this week on Azure Friday, I'm talking with Jan Kallis about Azure code optimizations for .NET. Join us. Hey folks, it's Azure Friday. This week, we're talking with Jan Kallis about Azure code optimizations. How are you, sir? I am doing pretty good. Thank you so much for having us today. So I'm hearing that I can optimize my .NET applications in Azure with this new feature, and you've got a live demo for me. Yes, absolutely, we do. All right. Talk to me about this. Why am I going to use the cloud in an AI-based service to make mm. my code better? Yeah, that's really a great question. What we are seeing and hearing from developers is that technically, when your app is not performing well enough, uh, but it's running, then it's really hard to prioritize um, how time for uh, discovering any performance issues and then understanding them and coming up with a code level suggestion. Now, the beauty of uh, App Insights code optimizations is that it helps you do both. Um, it discovers, it actually analyzes your uh, App Insights profile traces and gives you recommendations and also, this recommendation is then used with GitHub Copilot to ground it with this live production data to come up with a uh, really personalized and better code suggestion. OK, this is cool. Let me see if I understand this. I'm going to paraphrase back to you. So when I'm running my application on my laptop, on one processor or on an ARM laptop, that's not reflective of reality. That's not how my app's going to run in prod. But when, I in, when I'm in prod, and I'm already using Application Insights, we're doing live, regular profiling. So we know how our app runs at scale. So you know things because we're in prod. You're telling me I can then apply those optimizations, those learnings from production, feed it through Copilot, which I'm already using to make my code better, and start this kind of like loop of profiling from my laptop to production and back, and things are just going to get better. Precisely. Yes. Very cool. I like that. So I'm going to learn things once I put my application into production that I couldn't have known. Yes. Locally because, developed. Hey, you have the uh, sale is going on, right? Or new customers are registering. Your application is getting more traffic during different times of the day. And that's exactly something that drives the, the, um, the load on your application that then mm -hmm. um, drives also insights from the uh, Profiler. Um, um, I love it. Give me 14 of them right now. Let's go. Yes. This is good. Awesome. All right. So let's do a, uh, let's roll the demo here. Okay. We will start in uh, Azure Portal. And if you're hitting a performance issue and using um, Insights, um, you can, you almost all of us uh, go into the uh, up insights and either do search or because this is a this is a perf issue. Um, I see that there's some crazy long response time. I can go directly into the performance investigation blade. Mm. And right here, uh, of course, I can see the latency that is crazy high. Um, I can see what type of endpoints are being hit and which endpoint of my application is the mm, slowest one. And I, of course, uh, can see everything on the right-hand side uh, across a histogram. And it also shows me that there are some profile traces that are, are captured. And so what I can do, I can open that profile trace and go into flame chart and try to figure out, okay, where is the problem? And then go into the code and try to figure out, okay, how do I fix that problem? But there is a better way because uh, code optimizations do that for you right mm -hmm. here in the insights. You're seeing that, oh, here are top three suggestions that you can uh, go do. And uh, what, what you see here on this, uh, on this view is uh, we, we have a number of recommendations here for this particular application. Um, we are working on more. Uh, recommendations. So today uh, you see memory and CPU. Uh, and for example, uh, I see that there is a number of issues that pertain uh, string operations, because by the way, this is the most common issue that we are seeing in the telemetry, uh, string operations, excessive logging, etc. Mm -hmm. 
And it also tells me which method in the code runs into this issue. And then it also tells me during profiling, uh, what was the peak usage of, in this case, memory for this, for this issue. And of course, here on the right, I can see details. Um, I can also see a recommendation here. What is it that I am supposed to do? But uh, you also are noticing that we are saying, well, we expect this value to be less than 13. And oh, that's wow. coming based on, on uh, our model that um, codified the learning from Microsoft Cloud Scale applications. So we looked at how Microsoft, how we are running our .NET applications across Office, Teams, Azure, Xbox, et cetera, and codified more than 1,000 different um, services into this model. So this is kind oh, of- wow. Okay, so that's not just a number that got made up. That number no. is from, like we know when we run Bing and we know when we run Xbox that doing this is a bad idea. So you've got a model this isn't a large language model. This is a custom Azure code optimization machine yes. learning model mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that knows mm -hmm. about how .NET applications should behave. And this application is behaving as an outlier. Exactly. Precisely. Ah. And there is a very cool thing about this uh, customized ML model, because you can take the output of this ML model. And as you see the hint down here, go into GitHub Copilot and use that as grounding for GitHub Copilot to come up with even better, more targeted, more personalized code suggestions. Okay, because GitHub Copilot is trained on source code, but I want to call out the difference between a model that's trained on source code it's seen versus a performance profiling custom machine learning model, which is much more targeted. You're saying that I can let GitHub Copilot know about this, this yes. problem. That's yeah, amazing. Absolutely. Okay, that sounds a lot more sophisticated than just chatting with the bot. For sure. So now we are in VS Code, and I've already installed the GitHub Copilot uh, for, for Azure uh, that can help me connect uh, with uh, my backend, with the same backend that you have seen in, in Azure. So um, I'll say optimize my code based on app insights data and it asks me for the up insights uh, resource so it's the same that mm -hmm. uh, we have seen before so and it's telling uh, you the 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 tenant that you're logged into currently mm -hmm. yeah it's the the my tenant my production tenant okay or the the production tenant in this case And here we go. It uh, tells me that, hey, there are uh, a number of uh, recommendations. These are the top two recommendations. And this is the exact same recommendation that we have seen with the 73%. Mm -hmm. And here is the magic. I can just click, give me a code suggestion. And what it would do, it because th that repo is open, so it finds the method in my code. It generates the code fix based on the insights. And of course, I can diff this and uh, see if it uh, works or I can. I can uh, okay. So in it. this particular case, you were calling to list, which forces an enumeration all at once, holds the entire list in memory, and then sits there for a second. Yes. And then for loops over that. And you're switching that to a for loop over an I enumerable of T, where in this case, I enumerable of list bypassing the entire list uh, memory allocation. Precisely, yes. Ferocious. I love yes. it. Yes, yes. And um, because we are in Copilot, then uh, we can ask it and we can play with different models here. So let's go to O3 and say, can you explain the fix? And that's the part we, that I like about we, AI. If we would I, have Scott here <laughs> in this, in this talk, this yeah. is exactly what I can do as a developer. See, and I really like this. This is the part, I mean, like p some people feel some kind of way about the AI generating code, but I like it explaining what we did because if you don't understand it, then you have no business putting it in a production. So I really like this loop because we've got the co-pilot explaining it, but then you've got that custom model in production that gave me information I didn't have before. So I see you using both co-pilot and the at Azure extension and switching models all in a way to better understand what's going on. That's cool. 100%. So this is the more hands-on experience. Ah. Oh, this is, oh. The, this is the actual model, not me explaining, but this, this is doing a better job of explaining. 
Well, th this uh, this is a way how I can um, prov I can work with Copilot in my IDE on the code change, but I can also assign the issue to Copilot directly. Oh, okay. And so, um, what I'll do, I'll just say assign this uh, to GitHub Copilot. And it would be using a feature of mm -hmm. GitHub Copilot um, that is um, called Software Agent. So to learn more about um, these new GitHub Copilot capabilities, please check the build session, uh, the breakout 113 from Luke and Tim. They go into all details, many details of this new capability. I see. So you're assigning as if this were a, a, an intern or a helper, a junior engineer. You're saying, hey, this is a small fix. Take a look, assign it, and let me know when you're done. And then maybe you would review it as the uh, as the human in the loop. Precisely. Precisely. So uh, you see it, of course, provided uh, the details uh, from the profile trace insight into the issue. So that's the, again, the, the grounding. And it also, um, we have made a specific set of instructions, what, what we want it to go do with that specific performance issue. Hmm. And I'll hit create. And because it's assigned to Copilot, you see it picked it up and it started working on a PR here. But because we are asking it to run benchmark tests and consider multiple options, it will take a little bit more time. So let me fast forward to a PR that has been already, um, already um, ready for my review. So once the performance agent is, is ready with um, uh, the proposal here, um, it summarized the issue, it showed me the benchmark tests before and after, uh, and it drilled into the approach of how to uh, fix this. And it found yet another fix. It found a, a different things that we have seen in the VS Code. This is implementing a cache uh, for uh, the disallowed so it's going words. above and it's going above and beyond, which you can decide to accept or not accept. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And um, here you see that uh, there were um, also alternative approaches uh, because we asked it, hey, can you come up with a number of different approaches, load test them, and pro and propose the one that performs the best. And by the way, you can always go into the log or into the trajectory of the model where you see that it literally ran the benchmarks. It gives you all the details uh, how each approach has um, performed. So the optimize with cache, it's something new that we haven't seen in the VS code. Optimize without toolist, that's a similar approach to what we've seen in the in the toolist. You see that, back to your point, that they are tremendously um, optimizing uh, GC because the, the Gen 1 and Gen 2 is, is not happening. Plus, you see that the allocation of memory is much smaller compared to uh, the, original, the original version. And then the model actually, the, the co-pilot um, reasoned over these options and said, well, based on these performance insights and gain, I'm choosing the implementation with uh, the cache. That's cool. This is really interesting. It just makes me think about, I want the AI for me, in my relationship with an AI, to reduce toil. Yes. And I don't think that I would have put that level of effort into it. But exactly. I, I like that it's making a PR. It's a draft PR. You can actually talk yeah. to it and comment. Exactly. exactly. You're having a chat yeah, with exactly. it. And you can, and, and, you can and you're not simply just letting go of the steering wheel and mm -hmm. hoping that everything will be fine. Exactly. 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 That's cool. All and right. so you can say, is there an, any other method? And you can even ask it, hey, can you, like, yeah, there may be, let's go with the string builder approach that it um, suggested uh, on another um iteration and can you revalidate uh, the, the benchmark and, and, and cetera. And it will help me um, kind of drive up the, the confidence that this is the right level of, of fix that I, that I want to take. 
All right. So how do I get this? I go and watch the build session and get into far, far, far more detail. Um, how do we learn more about this product? There are great links that are available, um, aka.ms slash code optimizations, where you can review your insights, your recommendations in Azure Portal. Uh, we, of course, have extensive documentation. And if you want to give us feedback, uh, please, or, co or con connect with, with us and sign up for a, a private preview, because we always have a next feature in private preview. Please connect to us through the feedback, the third link. Thank Very you. cool. aka.ms slash code optimizations. This has been fantastic. Great stuff. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I have been learning all about code optimizations in Azure with GitHub Copilot today on Azure Friday. Mm -hmm.